In times like these, it's more important than ever to look sharp as you self-quarantine. And I came up with a couple of tips to kind of help us accomplish that. So I think step number one is to, what's up? We're out of toilet paper, would you mind? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, we're out, we're out of toilet paper. Um, can I get you a tie? Jonathan? Make sure it's silk. Mm, good point. So there will be a time when we can use ties as they were meant to be used once again. But until that time, I do want to show you uh, a little trick on how to create a dimple in your tie. It's going to give your overall look one of elegance. Uh, it's going to be a power look. It's it doesn't merely look like a piece of material slapped around your neck and ultimately lay flat like a lady's scarf. So we'll give it a little bit more excitement than what you normally see on a guy who wears his ties. So uh, with that, let's get started. So to do this, just begin tying your tie as you normally would. I'm gonna use a half Windsor. All right, and this is where the important uh, part comes in. You just think about this as something that you can do, you know, instead of binging on, on another Netflix series, uh, you just basically, when you put it through, the, through your knot, you just want to pinch the top. So we'll go ahead and put it, pull it through. And then right as you get towards the end, just pinch it, almost pinch it from underneath. You just kind of fold the things, the edges and pull through. You can start to see that dimple uh, kind of form. Again, it's, it's not, a lot of guys just pull it straight through and are done, but to tie a really good knot, you have to kind of to play with it a little bit. Just pull it tight and then set it. And very simple. You can see, start to have this kind of arch comes down, rather than it just kind of collapsing on your chest. Uh, so it's just much more elegant way of tying your tie.